Well, tonight's kickoff to the Winter Carnival celebrates the celebration's 138th year. The 10 day festival brings over 100,000 visitors to downtown St. Paul to embrace the spirit of a Minnesota winter. But how did that tradition get started? Good question. WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell takes a look back. It's the oldest winter festival in the United States. Like real old. This goes way back to 1885 when a reporter from New York came to town. The legend goes they didn't care much for Minnesota winters. Pretty much wrote up an article that Minnesota, the Twin Cities, is basically another Siberia, uninhabitable by human form. We don't like that. We don't like that. Tom Barrett. This is the stairwell of an obvious expert on the festival. Winter Carnival memorabilia. Says people set out to prove them wrong, hosting the first St. Paul Winter Carnival in 1886. The Ice Palace in St. Paul was one of the first buildings to have electricity. Over 20,000 ice blocks were used for the first ice palace, costing back then just over $5,000. It was a huge undertaking. Even then, winter activities took center stage. As if you know we're Ramsey Hill is in St. Paul, it is huge. And they set up a toboggan slide a quarter of a mile. The fun lasted four weeks. There were nine parades One, and the tradition of balancing two, someone was born. Then there's the legendary characters and the storming of the palace. These are folks that fought literally in the Civil War. King Boreas and the Queen of the Snows battled against the fiery Vulcan crew. Do you like it hot or do you like it cold? Hot. Very good. Well, you're on our side then, but that's really been the legend that's continued all these years. You form your allegiances, but everybody gets together when it's time to celebrate. Barrett has seen the festival evolve over the years. Who's this gentleman? Doesn't this looks just like me, doesn't it? Uncanny. <laughs> just, but this was my uh, running suit, as they called it, that I wore back in 1983. But one tradition that's lived on is the Winter Carnival button. The very first medallion. The very first, right there. It's less than the size of a dime. He has all of them. After World War II, when they all came back, this special button was the, the button, but then they gave all the veterans this special button to wear in the parade. 70s, we're getting here. into some flower power. Yeah, right? You're going to need a bigger binder. I think so. Surviving pandemics, wars, and weather, the St. Paul Winter Carnival today remains a showcase of the beauty and warmth of Minnesota winters. Do you think they proved those snobby East Coast reporters wrong? Beyond a doubt. In St. Paul, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. And the Winter Carnival runs through February 4th. Most events are free, but a collector's button gives you access to coupons and prizes. And you can share your good questions with Kirsten anytime by emailing her through WCCO.com.